Hi, you're watching Geeked Out, and I'm Star. I'm Brody. Jake. And we're talking about things that we like. Things that might interest you and might catch a, you know, a nice little spark. Stuff we think's newsworthy. Right. First on the agenda is the new viral web video, uh, My New Haircut. <laughs> <laughs> and we give it an overall score of thumbs down. I mean, you you got you got to think. I mean, some dude who's on on YouTube and he's sitting there talking about his new haircut and you know. Your boyfriend is a douchebag. Yeah, he's a douchebag. Oh, yeah. I get what he was going for. He's making fun of Jersey Shore, but all the things were there. He didn't pull it off. No. Not funny. I'm sorry, bro, but try something new. <laughs> Let's be honest. He made for he made fun of himself more than he did Jersey Shore. So true. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. Although kudos on the messed up tan on your face, like how it wasn't even stuff. And the Jaeger bombs. That yeah. was good. Hey, that Jaeger was, bombs. Wait, that Jaeger was Jaeger bombs. What? That was a mistake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, next we wanted to talk about the new episode of Walking Dead. Walking Dead! <laughs> Loving that show. Very interesting. Oh my god. First of all, I want to touch base with, they said this season was going to be more accurate to the comic book. Not accurate. No, Not accurate. Nothing like the comic book. But we do like the character development. more skilled compared to, you know, the first season. They are, I mean, zombies, season. they are a threat, but... I think we can adapt, and that's what we've seen in the new series. They've, they've definitely learned st strategies and taken precautions to survive, and that's what they're doing. They're surviving. And getting you ready for, you know, if something like that really did happen. All right, let's actually talk about the actual show that happened last night. Lori giving birth in a generator room, was it? Yeah. That was fucking nuts. And it was, it was an epic moment because, you know, it was Carl and Maggie... Mm -hmm. You know, with her. Maggie didn't know what to do. Carl, like, and Lori got to say her last words to her son. Very moving. Yeah. Very touching. Yeah, and I mean, I'm not going to lie, it had me, you know, on edge. I'm just like, oh my God. So, mm -hmm. but yeah. And then when the baby didn't cry, like, what, three seconds? Three but seconds. it felt like forever. Right, yeah. Oh my God. So nice. Right. Carl, though, that, that kid's in a stone, right? Just walked away like, yep. He shot his mother. And just walked out with a serious face, you know, just, I mean, he had to do what he had to do. I mean, he had no other choice or else she would, would have turned. Yeah. But I mean, like, this world that he's growing up in. Like, what do you think, Jay? Man, I ain't gonna begin, seriously. Uh, to be honest, like with the whole uh, Carl killing his mom, that was just really devastating, you know? Because in the comic book, that didn't happen. Mm -hmm. It was complete opposite. Lori had the kid and everything, mm -hmm. trying to escape. And she got to name it. Got yeah. to name it, and then both of them died in the process. That sucked. Then you put all the pressure in the, in the, um, the show, you put all the pressure on Carl now to kill his own mother. It's sad. Right. Oh, I, and I was not expecting Rick's reaction. He's always been so hard and ready to do whatever it takes. And then when he found out Lori was dead and she didn't make it. The expression on his face was just Sorry. overwhelming. Sorry. Let's be honest. Okay, Rick is the toughest character on the whole show besides Daryl and besides Glenn. Yeah. Okay. And the new girl with uh, Sam Russell, she's cool too. Michonne. Michonne. Yes, Michonne. But the thing is, though, he's a tough character, right? Even the toughest character can break down at tough moments. Right. I mean, he lost it. He after after back. that whole, he went back into the the prison and whacked some some walkers. So yeah. And I think they were doing the type because they 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 are trying to mimic the comic book. I think more that they said they were to make this this series more like the book. There was a scene in the comic book series where I think it was Tyrese who went into a crowd of zombies and they had to leave him. 
they had to shut the doors, otherwise yeah. they were risking their own lives. And he was in there with nothing but himself and a machete, and he killed all the zombies. Right. And survived. And there and his reaction when they opened the door was like, what? I think that's what they were trying to do with Rick, but still, I just I didn't like the way that Lori died. Yeah. I mean, or or T Dog. So. Yeah. yeah. Oh, but he did die saving someone's life. Yep. Exactly. Okay, everybody. T Dog is the guy that was on the first season of Walking Dead. He's the guy that cut his arm and um, Daryl saved him. Now you've seen this episode. Basically, he tries to save the lady, but he gets bit in the process. Mm -hmm. And then two other zombies came, and he took them out. The middle of the dead. Bit. I don't think she is. Yeah. I think that. Yeah, uh, because she disappeared. Yeah, there was a there was an echo in the end of the show. You missed it. You missed it. It's the funny part you've seen this in the episode about her like disappearing. You see T Dog telling her to move out the way and say just run. Or he gets his arm like he gets a chunk of his arm bit out. And then she runs with her thing on her head. Um the little bandana. The bandana on her head. And it's fully intact on her head. She runs off. But when the group comes and sees T Dog, they find and they also find the bandana, which it wasn't there before. Yeah. So that's weird. Totally a, a TV mistake, I think. Let's there. talk about Andrea and Michonne. Okay, Let's now not. that we're in the city, I know that it looks all... What? Let's not talk about them. <laughs> Shut up! Because, no, no. Because Andrea, she's, let's be honest, through the whole season, she's basically brain damaged. She yeah. complains True. more than True. anyone. She, and she's she's never on the right side. It's like, she's got these goggles on, these blinders on, where she cannot see dickheads. Don't She yeah, cannot yeah. see that there's total douchebags. Like that shit with Shane, and now she's falling for the governor. She totally fell hook, line, and sinker for his bullshit. I know the town looks perfect. I know the town looks safe. But red flags are going off left and right. Don't forget about this, though. All the good guys that she hates either dies or become really cool. And that's when she realized, like, when they die, that's when she realized that they were fucking cool. And it's like, you stupid bitch. <laughs> right, and you gotta think. I mean, this whole time she's hanging out with Michonne, and Michonne is a very serious person, don't get me wrong. And, and she wants what's right for her. Yeah. And, you know, the part where, you know, Michonne wants to leave, and then she's all like, I want to stay, I want to stay. And when has Michonne been wrong about anything? Right. And She kept her alive for nine months. Exactly. Along with, with two walkers. Yes. Because <laughs> who does that? Let's be honest, let's be honest. In this day and age... girl is, is hardcore. She does what it takes to survive. In The Walking Dead, either you see a walker, you got two options. Kill it or run. Mm -hmm. She exactly. actually took care of the zombies, jaws off and arms, and made them not want to be hungry anymore. And let's let's to that kill stuff. it's got to be the greatest zombie tactical advantage exactly. I've ever heard of. It's brilliant. It's let's it's brilliant. And if Michonne says it's time to go, it's fucking time, time to go. go. Granted, that chick is fucking crazy. But if she says it's time to go, it's time to go. Oh, Lord, she don't phone. trust nobody. Let's Don't talk about him. the part where she stuck the blade to the governor's throat. Uh -huh. What let's, drove her to that? Let's talk about the blade. Yeah, yeah the blade. Did anyone else see that scene where she's holding the blade and you can uh, tell the Celtic Trinity and with the reflection of the blade you always see the Trinity symbol? Exactly. That's it awesome. It shines and it's just letting you know, hey, this is... Alright, All right. Right. on to a new topic because we've kind of like talked about Walking Dead long enough. Assassin's Creed 3. Uh, new video game coming out, or it's out now. Now we haven't actually played the game, but we've seen some ex some excellent uh, trailers and we've uh, heard some pretty good things. Let's talk about that. Well, I mean, recently I was on, on YouTube and I was watching some pretty cool gameplay. And I mean... Let's talk about the name, Connor. It's different than all the original Assassin's That's the main Creed character, character, Connor. And, I mean, he's not the same as the original characters. He is Native American, and, you know, he's got... And British. And British, yes. So, I mean, this guy... 
He's, and they're fighting in the Revolution War, which I think, I like that because they take it home. They take it home for us. Right. Yeah, and um, have, I haven't seen from the trailers, are we still dealing with the Templar and the Apple of Eden? Well, from what I hear, I'm sure they're going to bring in some more of the Templar and then the Apple of Eden was spoke of, but I, I wouldn't doubt it that they would bring it in. Yeah. This game, the graphics are off the chart. I'm Insane. telling you. Insane. Insane. I am so excited to see how this game plays. Um, Either you or me, like we've been talking about it. One of us is gonna get the game. Then we get the game. We're gonna talk about this again and touch base with you guys. I mean, the first four Assassin's Creeds, Assassin's Creed, they were amazing. Right. Like, uh, I like um, Alvator, awesome. I love Ezio. Like, I have a little bit of a, a crush on Ezio. <laughs> one where he was really old and when you played it honestly felt like you were old like you could feel his arthritis when yeah. you jump on the other buildings and stuff I mean, yeah i mean even for his age i mean he still kept a good pace and running yeah and he was pretty good at getting the ladies yep, exactly. <laughs> I mean, come that on. chick was like what 20 <laughs> he fucking hook line and singer <laughs> about desmond my well, pretty much the main guy of this whole thing. This journey we've been taking with yeah, him. Cause yeah, because he's going in through the Animus and doing all this stuff, so it's really cool. Yeah, I'm excited to see what he learns in this one. Because we sing, came so close last time finding out that the Greek gods are real and they're not necessarily gods but higher beings and that that they're trying to give us a message and I'm just trying to figure out what that message is. Exactly. So what's your intake on this? My intake on it is that I would love to play this. Yeah. <laughs> Hands down. Let's play. If you got to do something about the Greek guys that's kind of new, by fashionable way, I want to play. I exactly. want to see what happens. So we're going to give this one three thumbs up on three wanting yes. to try. Yes. Definitely way. If you guys are out and about, go to your local GameStop or Walmart or wherever. Pick up Assassin's Creed 3. You will like it. Yeah. Comment down below and tell us what you think because we are dying to know. Yeah. Well, we were going to talk about Underworld series, but I think we went out of time, guys. Well, I mean, we can make as much time as we can, but... We'll, we'll touch base on that next week. So... So this is Geeked Out. Stay dorky. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.